All right, so here we are. This is a good close-up view here. Um, these are the secondary windings, these big things here. This over here is the filament windings because x-ray uh, tubes, uh, an x-ray tube is a type of vacuum tube. So it has a filament in it, and it's kind of neat how they do it. The filaments are actually at high voltage relative to ground, but the filaments on a typical vacuum tube are only a couple volts. It'll be like a 5 volt or a 3 volt or something like that. So you only need 3 volts, but it's you'll have like 100,000 volts or 75,000 volts, and you'll have 75,003 volts. So it, it matters. Um, and they're usually, they're, they're very high current. This is high voltage, low current. This is high voltage, high current, or low voltage, high current, but high voltage relative to ground. So it's really weird like that, how it works. Um, but that's, that's the basics of it. I have no idea what's hidden in this box at all. I can't get a good look in it, but there's, there's something in these. It could be some type of capacitor. It could be a, a rectifier stack. I really, I have no idea. And we'll, we'll dig into these as things settle down. But let's lift it up some more. Our dripping slowed down quite a bit. All right, come, come down a little bit, nice and slow. I want to hold it just high enough so... It, there, stop. All right, that'll hold it so it doesn't spin. Because um, I, I don't want to take it out from over the transformer until it's done dripping, and that can take a while. Because there, there's a lot to drip because this is all packed, packed, packed windings of paper and wire and there's laminations of iron and all kinds. There's, there's a billion little nooks and crannies in here and they're all filled with oil. And this is important to know because when you build a transformer and you first submerge it in oil, all those spaces are filled with air. So what they traditionally do is they, they put it in there, they seal it, they pull a vacuum on it, and then they fill it with oil. And they, they keep a vacuum pulled on it while they fill it full of oil and then they vibrate it. Um, some procedures call for putting a low voltage through the transformer, to, which makes it hum, and the hum, the vibrations of the hum will drive out. Um, it, it'll, it'll drive out the air and stuff. So you got a razor knife? That'll work. Yeah, give me yours, because it'll clean off easier. Because I'm going to cover it in oil in, in a second. Okay. All right, we've got a razor knife, and I'll just cut right through the tape. We'll get a look in here and see what this is, because I'm actually pretty curious. We'll cut through this side as well. And it's not just paper tape, it's Captain tape, which uh, you'll find in speakers a lot for voice coils and speakers. Oh, what do we got now? Look at this. This is, this is neat. That's a homemade standoff insulator there. It's a coil of tape, and there's this twine happening here. So I'm going to cut out. And this is their uh, insulator taped into place. It's just a coil. That's kind of cool. So that's a neat way of doing it. And we'll just set this aside back in the floor drain. Okay, now we've got filament windings, we've got the main transformer, we've got this box, which is not really anything holding it together. Okay, we'll take a look in here and see what we find. This is a good time to remember, you want to buy good screwdrivers like Klein, because they're rubber handled, and even when they're slick with oil, you can still get a decent grip on them. Okay, we've got a lead there, high voltage lead, and I'll take these off. All right, so we've got the piece off there. Um, Mikey, hand me the uh, thing, the, the cutty thing, yeah, because this is wrapped in paper. Let's get a look at what it is. It's always good to mix high voltage, precarious weights, and razor knives. You know, that's, that's just a great combination. Mike, this might be capacitors. Or a capacitor that's seriesed up or something, I don't know. I tried to eat my foot, Mike. Yep, it's capacitors! Check it out! Oh, cool. 
All right, we've got, and they're very precariously placed in there, we've got a whole bunch of capacitors in series. So I have no idea what the voltage is. I have no idea what the ratings on these are. They're not labeled in any way. But if you take apart really big pulse capacitors, they often look like this on the inside, a, a very large series of small little capacitors. So this is, this is pretty cool. I've checked these out. Um, I need a little red bin or a baggie or something to put these in, please. They're very messy. But this is, this is pretty cool. So yeah, we'll have to play with these. So yeah, if you find uh, things here that look like little candy bars, these are small capacitors. Now, you only want to use these under oil, and you want to keep them really clean. Like, don't drop them on the floor like I just did. Um, but yeah, these, these should work just fine. Uh, you can figure out what their voltage rating is by you know, adding them up. So I've got... I've got 18 of them here. And this transformer is probably at most 75,000 volts on a side. So you take 18 into 75 and, and you've got it. So, and no, I can't do that in my head that fast. I'm not that smart. But you can. You can at home. Enjoy. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so we found that out. Um, there's another thing in the top. I don't know what. Now on the other side here, I'm just going to leave that in there. I'm not going to mess with it. So yeah, that's the basics of inside a high voltage transformer. This is, this is an x-ray power supply. So if you've ever had an x-ray, this is the machine that makes the high voltage. And now you know, we've gotten to explore that. So you guys have fun. We'll have more for you tomorrow. And uh, that's today's adventure here at the Geek Group. I'm Chris Bowden. If you uh, want to learn how to do this stuff in person, if you want to come down and be a part of one of the videos and exploring this stuff, come on down. Check us out at uh, www.thegeekgroup.org. Or give us a call at 567-GEEK. You can send us an email at info at thegeekgroup.org, and we'd love to hear from you. You guys have fun. I'll talk to you later. See you.